All right, boys, AI is in our phones. It's in our phones. It's taking over. Uh, okay, not really. Well, maybe it is taking over all of the marketing. Have you seen any of Samsung's marketing recently? Galaxy AI is here. Galaxy AI is here. Galaxy AI is here. Is this a threat? Is it a celebration? What is Galaxy AI? <laughs> Galaxy S24 Ultra has been out for almost a couple of months now and guess what? I tried, okay? I tried to use the Galaxy AI features whenever I could for whatever I would need them. So how do you use them? Are they useful? Are they a gimmick? Let's go for a ride! An AI ride! Cringe, 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 cringe. Number one, AI and pictures. Okay, this is technically nothing new. Um, even before AI became the uh, buzzword of tech, we had the magic eraser inside the Pixel phones and even the Samsung phones. So basically it's the evolution of that. You go to edit your photo, you choose the magical AI icon over here. So you tap it, yes, now I can hold it, you can resize it maybe, uh, change its location. And when you tap generate, it should generate the missing background, maybe a bit of the missing pole of the dog here. Fast forward. And as you can see, it's not perfect. Now I've had times where it was fine. In this particular case, the blurred background looks okay, but over here we've got some artifacts. In general, uh, it's not extremely dependable and I haven't really found an awesome use for it, but you know, it is what it is. Let's try another one. So I'm gonna move the dog here a bit. Maybe I'm gonna make him a bit smaller. Tab generate. And in this particular case, we got this weird thing. It looks like a towel. Anyway, you get it. It's a nice party trick to have. It's probably filled with mind-blowing algorithms in tech and stuff that smart people made. In real life, it's fine, I guess, maybe. I haven't really gotten any use out of it, but sure. Number two, real-time translation in calls. Okay, this is actually a big deal and it's huge. The S24 phones are the first time a smartphone can translate to languages during a live voice call. To activate it, open the phone app, go into the triple dot settings menu, and then you go into live translate, you choose your language, your voice if you wish to, and then the other person's language. Now you do have the option to mute the source voice, but since the translation is so slow and awkward, I'm not sure which is better. Maybe it's better to leave your original voice in so the other person at least hears that you actually said something and that they're waiting for a translation. And here's how it works. Let's call up Victor. This call is being translated and live captioned. Hello, Herr. Greetings, God. So, Victor. Hello, Victor. Kannst du mich verstehen? Hello, Victor. You can understand me. I can understand you. It's a bit slow, but I can understand you. Ich kann sie verstehen. Es ist ein bisschen langsam, aber ich kann sie verstehen. Okay, danke, Victor. Okay, so you can see it's it's not an ideal translation. Uh, granted, my German is not great, um, and it's very very slow. So I wouldn't use it for any sort of elaborate small talk with family members, as it was advertised. I wouldn't even use it for business calls. I think it's a fantastic feature that smartphones should have. But I also think that it needed some time in the oven, maybe an extra couple of years. Number three, uh, writing text messages, which is in the same spirit as the live translation. Okay, so basically I can type in anything, look for the AI icon. I can translate my text and I can change my writing style. And you can go original or just go professional, casual. Um, the super cringe social mode, which adds a lot of hashtags and smileys, or the polite way. And I'm not gonna lie, I actually wrote a couple of emails using this. I was just a bit too lazy to go professional and polite, okay? I just wrote out my uh, the core of my information, and then I just click make it professional, make it polite. And the AI did its job perfectly. Yes, you can use it, but 
shame on you for not being able to be polite. Number four, circle to search. Now this debuted with the Galaxy phones. I think the Pixels have it now, or maybe they will get it very, very soon. Basically, you hold down on the uh, home button and you get to circle anything on your screen and search for it. Is it uh, very impressive? Yes. Is it accurate? Um, a lot of the times. Did I use it in any case for anything at all? Absolutely not. <laughs> I have no idea why you would need this. I am on the internet, I'm looking at the thing. I don't know why I would need to circle the thing. Presumably, in theory, maybe I could see something in a YouTube video or in a random article and I would be like, I gotta know what this is and circle it maybe once a year. So yeah, moving on. Number five is article summary. And let me tell you, I love this one. So basically you open a huge, huge article you tap on the magical AI button and press summarize. And watch, watch this. That was a full review broken down to five points. And I did test this. I tested it with a few editorials over at phonearena.com. Now, before we finish strong, first of all, like and subscribe. You've made it this far. Are you sleeping? Secondly, I do wish to mention that some of the AI features do require to send your data to the cloud where it gets processed by more powerful PCs that can run the algorithms needed. Now, if you do not wish this to happen, if you want your AI to be on the phone only, you can do this. You can go into settings, advanced features, advanced intelligence, and then you can toggle this on. Though, be aware that some of the AI features will become dumber <laughs> and you won't be able to use the heavy stuff like the magical photo editor does not work on device only. It needs to upload your data to get uh, better processing from the servers. Just saying the option is there, but it makes the AI features even more useless. And number six is the voice recorder summary. Now, I love this. You can record a long, long meeting and it gives you a list of bullet points. And you can even tap a bullet point and it fast forwards to that point of the audio recording so you can hear what the people were talking about. To demonstrate this, I was actually recording myself this entire time. Let's see how this happens. I'm going to stop the recording now, open it up, and then you can transcribe it. Now, this takes a while, we're gonna have to fast forward. And there's the summary of my full script. I've been talking for 17 minutes now. As you can see, there are a lot of bullet points, but here's the place where I talked about live translation. Here's the Samsung keyboard AI bullet points. And it does seem like it pretty much summarized what I said, and so on and so forth, you get it. I tap on, I tap here, I go to that location of the recording, I tap here, I go to that location of the recording. Pretty useful. I've used it for a couple of long meetings. I just snooze, record the thing, and gen then just go through the bullet points. Don't tell my boss. Final verdict. Well, first of all, there aren't that many AI features to talk about, so Samsung, tone it down a bit. Secondly, most of these are neat, cool party tricks, very impressive tech-wise. Usefulness? A couple of them are useful. The S24 Ultra though, excellent phone. I do not regret using it one bit. Thanks for watching till the end. Love you as a friend. Bye. <laughs>